Hi, I'm Roy. Welcome to this series of videos for Unreal Engine 4. Tutorial Roy's tutorials on Unreal Engine 4. I'm going to be covering right now intro to Unreal Engine 4 and how to use basic controllers and user interface. So right now I'm at the launch, launch window. You, you can go ahead and launch the engine. choose new project I will be using third person blueprint with a right click you can pan this window up and down with right click blueprint third person right here give it a name I will give it intro to UE4 tutorials and that should be good include starting content so we can teach something if not we're gonna be with an empty content browser create project right here you, you you can choose where do you want to save this project by default it's going to be your user, your computer name, documents or real projects so you hit create project and you do the rest Right now I'm using the 4.3.1 uh, uh, version of the Unreal Engine. As you can see, the engine gives us some table and chair so that we can begin. And right here, file, open, we can open starter map with some materials, apply it on it, and basic stuff. We can go around and see some materials created by Epic Games. And right now it says click the simulate toolbar button. So right here we have the play button. And you can press it and you will see some dynamic stuff going around. With some gold material applying on it. And I'm I'm moving like if I were playing on a PC, I'm doing it some by doing uh, pressing the uh, right click, and then with the uh, W key on the keyboard, A key on the keyboard, SD, WSD was key. I can move forward, left, right, backward, and if I move the mouse then I can go up and down right, right now I'm on simulate so if I hit stop everything is gonna be again at the beginning if I hit play then I will be begin right here at the at, at this control location and again I move forward using the WASD key W A S D on the keyboard and like right here we have the blueprint system for those who use UDK before the blueprint system is 
like Unreal Script but Visual. It's gonna be Unreal Script Visual Unreal Script. So we can go ahead and open the level blueprint and as as we can see we have some stuff going around here. We have some music right here play delay 25 milliseconds and play the, the other the other music for the uh, simulate stuff and I want to use the inverse mouse so I will go here and and, and go right click write down console and as, as you can see is this is like a filter execute console command and I am gonna write down inverse mouse as I say I like the mouse to be invert I don't like the up look up and down look look down I when I move my mouth uh, down I like to look up now if I hit play or simulate then I have my mouse inverted okay uh, right here we have the content browser this is where everything of your assets is gonna be on the content browser this is like a folder inside the Unreal Engine 4. Whatever you do here is gonna be in the Unreal Unreal project and whatever the name you write down these folders are gonna be here too, inside here. If I create a folder here sometimes appears sometimes not appears but if you create a here it will appear here okay so uh, we can stack this windows whatever you want this is the uh, outliner for those who have used Maya before by the way I don't like Maya but for those who, who have used Maya before I have the outliner too. It is called the same way outliner, and it's pretty cool. The out outliner stuff in here in the uh, Unreal Engine 4. It speed up the workflow super fast. Then we have the modes, like in UDK, but better. The content browser. The shortcut for the content browser is Control Shift F. If I press Control Shift F, you see, you notice that, like a blinking light, something like that, is telling you, "Hey, I'm here. I'm I'm gonna move my content browser right here." Then we have the detail is like the property menu on on, on Real Engine uh, on UDK. If you choose something and hit F4 key, it's gonna jump to the detail menu or tab or whatever you wanna call it. So we have the content browser. we have the properties that is now called detail we have the outliner which is good and great as I say you, you can select this chair hit W key and will appear the move tool and then you can press in alternate drag it around and you can make a copy Share, it says chair to here and then I can make another copy and have this chair below this one 
and if I move this chair this chair move too but if I move this one it won't move this one because this one is like the boss I'm gonna end this video and see you on the next video kill we will we'll be keeping explaining will be explaining the move tools the grid the rotation degree and scale thanks a lot thanks thanks for watching